Hi, I'm Malcolm, the developer of Wear Installer 2. Today I'm going to show you how to install my latest app, Where I Am 2, from your phone to your watch. Firstly, let me go to my phone, open the Chrome browser, and go to my Freepok downloads page, which is shown here. Here's a list of all of my apps. Where I Am 2 is, is shown here. And let's download the watch app and the phone app. Now I can install the phone app where I am 2.apk by tapping on it. Install with package installer. I've already installed it uh, so I'll update. It'll be a new install for you. And that's done. So that's uh, that's pretty straightforward. Now we're going to use in a moment Wear Installer 2 to install the watch app from the phone to the watch. But before we do, let's just do a little bit of setup on the watch to get it ready. So settings, Developer options, if you haven't enabled those already, it's very easy, just Google it, uh, you will find the instructions. Um, and I recommend you connect your watch to a charger and enable stay awake when charging. It makes life a little bit easier. Turn on ADB debugging. Turn on wireless debugging. And you'll see here that there is an IP address and a port shown on the watch. And we're going to need those for Wear Installer 2. So let's open that. There's some explanation here. But the main thing is to put the IP address of the watch into this box on Wear Installer 2's home screen. And you'll see it's 192.168.1.217. Yours will be different from that. But let's just enter it in there and press done. Now we need to pair the uh, watch and the phone over ADB. So let's pair a new device. And you'll see a pairing code is shown there on, in Wear Installer 2, pair with watch and enable. And there's a space here to enter the, the pairing code. So let's do that. We can see that it's 448068 and then a space. And then the pairing port that's here. So it's 39887. 39887 and then done. Attempting to pair, successfully paired. Now this next step is important as well. You see the, uh, the port of the IP address here. This is different from the pairing port we just used. This is the um, the port associated with the IP address and we just need to make sure that's entered here also. So 35233 three, three. and done. Now we can go to custom APK and we've got uh, the files that we downloaded earlier and where I am to underscore where APK is the one that we want. Let's tap on that. It tells me this app is for Wear OS and continue. Uh, we're now connected via ADB and we get an install option. So let's just do that. Sending the APK file from the phone to the watch should take just a few seconds. and success uh, APK file installed on the watch. Now, just before we go, uh, there's one more thing we need to do for this app, and that's to give a, um, a permission 
which uh, needs to be granted by, um, by ADB. Uh, so we can do that from the menu where I am to app grant overlay permission. Let's select that. Uh, tap send to continue. And we've sent the command to the watch. And we can finish. We get a reminder to turn off ADB debugging on the watch. That's important to do because otherwise we'll use too much battery. So turn off wireless debugging, turn off ADB debugging, and we might as well turn off stay awake while charging as well. So uh, that's about it for now. Uh, where Installer 2 and Where I Am 2 are available from my Freepot website, the same one we saw a moment ago. You can also find a video that shows how to get the most from the Where I Am 2 app on both your phone and your watch. That's about it for now. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.